coming from Sao Paulo, Brazil, you guys. We are, if you can't tell by the background, in the airport yes. because we're here to catch a flight to our next stop in Brazil, which is Salvador. Yes, we are so sad to be leaving Sao Paulo, but very excited to see more of Brazil. Yes, and with that being said, we have a flight to catch, so let's get going. Yes. got to our Airbnb and I'm standing on the terrace that it has included with it and look at the view we have the main street we're literally in the heart of the old town of Salvador so this is incredible let's do a little tour actually <laughs> look at this it's so beautiful in here yeah I love this the Airbnb host actually lives here when somebody's not renting it out so this is like a home and they there's have, yeah. another Terrace, which is like the inner city of Salvador, and it's so nice. Look at that view, and I also love the fact that it's so like artsy. Yeah, and that's because the downstairs floor of this is actually like an antiques shop, mm -hmm. so he has like a full gallery downstairs. And you can definitely tell somebody who is very artistic lives here. Yes, like there's so many paintings so and cool. sculptures and stuff. I yes. love this. Also, you guys, these bags right here have been the best for our travels. They're actually from Level 8, which is the sponsor of today's video. Yes, and our checked luggage, carry-ons, and our backpacks are all from Level 8. Mm -hmm. We just love their unique and sleek style because, honestly, these go with every outfit. <laughs> and they're just so cute and yeah. nice. I absolutely love the Pro Carry-On. Their wheels are insanely smooth, and they go in three. 60 degrees which is crazy i've never had a suitcase like this that is so easy to like pull around it also has a tsa approved lock which is super useful in making me feel secure that my bag won't be opened or pick through throughout my travels and i recently got this atlas laptop backpack from them which is so sleek and nice looking but it truly has an incredible amount of space in it mm -hmm. the main compartment in this backpack is enough to hold all of our camera equipment, my headphones, chargers, everything like that. My personal favorite pocket is the one on the very back here, which is the heavily padded pocket for the laptop that I carry with me all the time. But the best part, in my opinion, mm -hmm. about this backpack is the strap that they have on the back, which is perfectly fitted so that you can securely carry it on top of the level 8 carry-ons. I use this all the time mm -hmm. in the airport and I feel like such a pro traveler. <laughs> so it it goes without saying that we heavily recommend Level 8 yes. for all of your travel gear. So be sure to check them out using the link in our description, which will also give you a nice discount on whatever you order. We also have a discount code, which we'll write on the screen for $10 off. And with all that being said, thank you so much to Level 8 for sponsoring today's video. Mm. Now we want to rinse off, yes. get changed and get some dinner. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dois caipirinhas de mal. Obrigado. Cheers, baby. Dois caipirinhas em Salvador. Ah, ok. Ok. So I have heard so much about the food here in Salvador. It's supposed to be some of the best food here in Brazil. I believe it's due to the influence that Africa has on this particular region. Because outside of Africa, Salvador de Bahia has the most people of African descent, which is incredible. Because my mom is Liberian, so I am of African descent. And I grew up eating tons of African food. I love African food. It's some of my favorite food in the whole world. I have really been looking forward to experiencing Brazil Brazilian cuisine with African influence. Wow, 
This looks good. It's amazing. You have to try this. Wow. Mm. Cheers, baby. Cheers. To Salvador. Yes. Look at that. This morning, we want to go explore this beautiful mm -hmm. town that we are staying in called Pelarino, which is the historic center of Salvador. Mm. It's filled with beautiful buildings, street performers, food, everything you could want. Yes. So I'm so ready to explore. that there is a heavy African influence here in Salvador and that comes from the history of this city where during the Portuguese colonial period this city was a major port for the slave trade. The name of this town in particular, Pelarino, translates to whipping posts and that's because right here in the city center there used to be public beatings and punishments of the enslaved African people using whipping posts that were right here in the center. That's heartbreaking obviously and terrible. But one thing I love about Brazil is that they don't hide from their past. They don't hide these dark chapters of history. They face it and they keep it here for everybody to experience and learn from. Sure. Yeah. Yes. One really cool thing we've noticed since being in Brazil is how there's not a typical look to the yes. average Brazilian. A Brazilian could have blue eyes, blonde hair, a Brazilian could have brown hair, brown skin, black skin, all different types of Brazilians. And when you start to look into the history of this country is when you can see where that all comes from. There's the Portuguese influence, there's African influence. And even the native South Americans. So yeah, the indigenous before. people. Yeah. And obviously that comes from a lot of bad things and bad chapters of history such as slavery and colonization but it is really beautiful to see the mix of all those cultures and the influences of all of them come alive in such a beautiful way. I really admire this city, I really admire Brazil as a whole for embracing all of its different inputs. Yes. Okay so Salvador is split up into two parts kind of which is the upper city which we've been exploring right now and then there is the lower city which is right here. And it holds the beach, it has more historic buildings, and the famous Mercado Modelo. So we want to go down to the lower city. And the best way to do that is using the first ever public urban elevator, which is incredible. You take it down from the upper city. It's been there since 1873, transporting people up and down, which is insane. Wow, that was fast. 
fast. Oh, it was very fast. <laughs> Okay, so we were starving. So we found this spot. Supposedly it was featured on Netflix on the street food of Latin America, which is so cool. Probably means it's going to be amazing and the view is incredible. Honestly. This place specializes in moqueca, which is something we've been really wanting to try from Salvador. It's like a stew. This one's a shrimp moqueca. And it looks incredible. And all the toppings that they bring out. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. All right, let me see. First bite. <laughs> so what really interests me is this, this right here. It reminds me a lot of pounded yam. My mom calls it fufu, that's what I grew up calling it. So I want to see if the taste reminds me of Liberian food. It definitely reminds me of fufu, but it has a very different flavor. Yeah. So we just looked it up. It says it's the same thing. It's cassava root flour that's beaten. But the difference between fufu, which is West African, and this is that they add stock into it. So the flavor of it and the reason it's more soft is because it's more liquid and stock flavoring versus fufu, which is just water and cassava root. It's so, so cool. cool because you can see how heavily that Africa influence. has influenced it. Yeah. This is awesome. That was so good. Yeah, I'm stuffed. <laughs> there is a very famous beach, probably yes. the most famous beach in Salvador mm -hmm. nearby. So we want to go visit yeah. it, check it out, maybe catch a nice sunset. <laughs> Sunset definitely have found the best spot in town to get a sunset. It feels like the whole city is out here right now. This is one of the most beautiful city beaches I've ever seen. Like absolutely incredible. We're here at this lighthouse and we're trying to find a spot if it's not too crowded. Who knows if it's possible? Let's go. This looks like a nice spot. This view is breathtaking. It's probably the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. And you know, I have a feeling people are getting tired of us saying everything is the best thing that we've ever seen or the no, best thing we've ever tasted. No, but actually this is the most beautiful <laughs> sunset I've ever seen. It All really right. is. I'm just going to go ahead and say one of the best, yeah. okay? <laughs> one of the best. Oh. 